welcome to the MBS show episode number 128. I am your host, Thomas Sanzo. Joining me today is James. Uh, 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 please, nurse, where is the painkiller? As Max uh, Payne, he'll probably have some. Yeah, oh my god. I don't make myself responsible for all the swearing I'm gonna say, but I can tell you, it's all a result of feeling like complete and utter hammer. <laughs> oh my god, I feel horrible. My health is killing me. Move on to the next guest, the next presenter, you know, whatever. Alright, alright. God, sorry guys. <laughs> uh. Alright, also joining us today is Rom. Gentlemen, hey, Rom. an honor to be here. How are you doing, man? Well, I was doing great, but then this happened, and then that happened. Not going to go into detail, I just I had a rough week, but I'm managing it. I can feel for you there, brother. Likewise. Oh, oh my god. So, I hope everything is okay. You're, you know, Rome, let it serve for our future selves. We have to listen back to this episode, and yes, we, we have to tell ourselves in the future. Hey, you were feeling like this before. It doesn't matter what you're having right now. You're better than you were. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. Also, our guest for this week is Twilight, New Lunar Republic, and Lycan. Hey there, guys. Hello. Hello. How are you guys doing? Oh, yeah, not too bad. Oh, I've had a pretty long day myself. <laughs> and I'm pretty so I'm awesome. <laughs> Okay, seems you're the only happy one here. So... You lost your empire! God. <laughs> Not only the empire, but a lot of colonies, and then was this thing. <laughs> Still better than you, though. True story, true story, can't you're argue like with that. A... You're awesome, you created America, I hope you're happy. <laughs> actually, I actually said that... <laughs> I actually said something along those lines the other day. Oh, uh, wow. Someone goes to me, what are you doing? And I said, I'm just being awesome. <laughs> They kind of rolled their eyes at me. And they're like, yeah, okay. Uh, oh my god. So, you, you, Amer- America is your spoiled children, and India is the one you abused until it forgot its identity. <laughs> oh my god, oh, you guys. You're not awesome. And Spain is the holiday home. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're worse than, than us. So, uh, you destroyed our armada. Oh my god. I'm never forgiving you for that, Twilight. It's all your fault. Uh, so, anywho. Don't, don't feel bad, James. Uh, apparently, I'm still a prisoner. <laughs> You decapitated Queen Victoria. What the hell is wrong with you people? So, anywho, um, Twy, oh, favorite character and favorite episode? Uh, I'm not sure my favorite character is. It could be Twilight. <laughs> All right. There's a good I chance. Your favorite of that. character was Snips. <laughs> no, no. It's definitely Twist. Uh, uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> what the uh, favorite episode? probably be the season 4 finale because Twilight is badass true that true that warranted the other two questions is how did you became a fan of the show well I became a fan of the show because of so many pictures everywhere on the internet I had to look it up watch the show it was cool brother <laughs> different uh, no comment okay so, um, what do your family and friends think about your love for the show? They think I'm gay. They think I'm weird. They wait, think wait, I'm wait, still me. <laughs> no, I'm bisexual. Oh, oh good. <laughs> they don't know that, though. So, shush. <laughs> okay. You're, so, well, they do now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the whole... Series. I am so going to tweet this. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why. Um, didn't you had a... Uh, um, well, a... Uh, E- charity event with Team OK where you wanted to raise money to buy a car so you can help you with your work and whatnot. Yes, I did. That went awesomely. Fandom's awesome. Super successful, I might add. Ah, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Thanks, Ty. So on to Lycan, favorite character, favorite episode. Well, I'm gonna start with the favorite episode here. Um, I got two of them. Uh, I'm going to go with Sonic Rain Boom and Testing, Testing, 1, 2, 3. They're just fantastic episodes in themselves. Um, Sonic Rain Boom, because it just has great um, pacing throughout. It's got a nice setup, a nice story. And, of course, that finale is just like, oh, my God, that's awesome and amazing. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Oh, yeah. And I am so surprised- happy. Yeah. 
And it comes from season one, which is also surprising considering how much fan service there's been in season three and four. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, testing, testing, one, two, three, because I've done quite a bit of teaching myself and I can understand <laughs> how difficult it is to actually teach someone and also the different styles of learning. So I was watching that going, oh God, I experienced this every day when I was teaching. Oh, flash and yeah, Oh, I know. Flashcards, getting people to do things. Um, yeah. There was even one time where I had a a packet of, like, jelly babies and using them to teach. Oh, God. Did it work? Uh, surprisingly, yeah. Oh, cool. Kept everyone, um, kept everyone's attention, that's for sure. Because they had sugar. You know what? I agree with you. I also did my bit of teaching, and uh, I didn't use uh, jelly babies, but I was using uh, licorice, pieces of licorice, different color mm. ones, to, to mm. teach verbs, adverbs, adjectives, etc. And it actually works really well. Oh, huh? cool. Yeah. I want yeah. one of you two as a teacher, because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, uh, it's all candy. It's going to serve nothing for your body. You're going to have to have something healthier. <laughs> Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. So, that's how favorite episodes. What about um, character? Favorite character. Everyone's going to laugh at this one. Has to be Apple Bloom. Um, that's valid. I think I know a few Apple Bloomers out there. Oh, it's just... She's just a fantastic character when you think about her. Like, she's always searching for a cutie mark. She's got that one task and tries to get tries to do everything just to get that one thing and yet still hasn't achieved it but has never given up just always keep going at it doing something new doing something different there's a positive outlook to it that's awesome as well mm-hmm. so how did you become a fan of the show this is probably going to really surprise you um back in 2012 it would have been about may wow. june ish um, I was looking through uh, a website called Know Your Meme, and they host a lot of things about memes and where they come from and their origins. And they had this one story about My Little Pony, and I was like, oh, okay, that's a bit strange, a bit weird. And then so I looked it up, and that's when I watched my very first episode. Uh, it was Put it, put Your Hoof Down. Ooh. That was the very first oh, episode my God. I saw. What a way to start in the show, isn't it? I can hear James already cringing in the background there. I am cringing in the background. Oh, that I'm episode. not going to bring that shirt. All that, all those, all those, oh, okay, personal feelings aside, there is no wrong episode to start with Friendship is Magic. Mm -hmm. True, true. But that episode, oh my god. Okay, never mind. I actually didn't mind it. I thought it was good and it was nice. And I'm like, okay, so. Um, and then I went back and watched episode one. And then it was like, oh, that's cool. Watched episode two, then three, and then on and on and on and on. So this was back in May, June 2012. So you're probably wondering why I've only come to the forefront now. Because I didn't actually discover the fandom itself until after season three. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so um, basically I'd been watching the episodes but didn't know that the fandom itself existed. And so that's when I came across uh, Everfree Network and joined the chat and started talking. And then that's when I got linked to this and that and everything else and just developed a whole bunch of friends. And that's where where I am today, talking to you guys. Hmm. And oh. now we abuse your skills as a doctor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, you have got to admit one thing is that the show never ever links to the to the fandom right away. It's its own thing. Oh, it, you true. actually need to you actually you actually need to do some digging. If you come from absolutely nowhere and you just check the show and nothing else, you actually have to do some digging to get into the fandom. Oh, that's but true. That's it's, true. It's 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 one of those things easy to find, impossible to get out. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's true. So yeah, I. I'd watched my first episode in uh, about May, June of 2012, but didn't actually join the fandom until October 2013. Wow. So how could you miss EQD and so on? Uh, I'd seen EQD and I'm like, oh, that's kind of interesting. But I didn't actually go on it every day, that kind of thing. Uh. Uh, 
and I didn't actually get linked to any chat rooms or anything. I just saw some news here and there. And it was only when I got into the chat room and actually started talking to people that I was like, oh, this is cool. There's lots of people out there just like me. Mm, okay. So what do your family and friends think about your love for the show? Uh, I think my mum's kind of just tolerated it now. She's kind of like, uh, okay, it could be worse. You could have a worse addiction than my little pony. <laughs> you could be doing drugs. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, a news argument. <laughs> oh, you could be a big fan of that show movie thingy, Michael B. That other show thingy, yeah. I mean, I do watch the other shows like Doctor Who and other things, uh, but definitely... You watch Care Bears. Just... <laughs> uh, no. Are you a belly bro? Are you a belly bro? Well, I, it was either My Little Pony or Philly Fantasia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just kidding. Oh Definitely I not. actually want to watch Philly Fantasia. <laughs> Philly, it, it, it looks better than other rip-offs. It definitely looks better than Food Fight. <laughs> uh, true, 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 true. I haven't seen Food Fight and apparently I, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> Don't. All right, all right. Believe me, you're going to need a doctor. <laughs> so um, the rest of my family are kind of like, oh, okay, so you enjoy the show and they just leave me be from that. <laughs> all right. Thanks for sharing your story, guys. And next topic is housekeeping. So, James, you wanted to do this? Yeah, definitely. No problem. All right. So, the hosts of the NBS show are going to be attending this year's BAC, that is the Brony UK Convention in Manchester. You have to do, you, if you want, come and meet our, uh, the hosts that, well, it says talented Spaniard, but I'm not that talented. I, I'm going to be there. And also, we're going to have Norman, my boss. He's going to be kicking ass at the convention. There is going to, there is going to be on August 24th, that is the Sunday, at 9 a.m., we're going to have the Ask Pony Tumblr panel. That is super early, but I hope you guys can come there. We're going to have, uh, as I said from myself, we're going to have a Sketchy, we're going to have Mecha, we're going to have Hazel, and we're going to have Captain Horse. And the four, the, well, the five of us, we're going to be talking about how to do Ask Pony Tumblr blogs and how to keep them going. Uh, please come around, ask us questions, send questions on Twitter. The panel is going to be recorded, so if you cannot come, you can always watch it later on. And, of course, we're going to have... Uh, Norm and I, we're going to be selling some swag at the back guest table. That's going to be table 27 on the convention hall. Uh, you can buy prints. You can buy uh, pony-themed patchwork hearts that me and my mom are doing. We're going to have pony buttons. And I am going to be doing some... Ultra Quick Ink Sketches, that is Ultra Quick Commissions for five pounds each. And I'm going to be doing them live. I'm going to be there almost all the time. So come around the area. I'm going to be there at the table. We hope to see you guys there soon. Awesome. Yay. This is How was that, fun. Twilight? Is that better? That was awesome. <laughs> okay. Yay. <laughs> Much better than what I did. Well, so, you know, is that, I'm not, I'm not precise. I'm not Robin Williams in Good Morning Vietnam, but aww. I think that anything compared to Norman is better. Yeah, true that. Uh, <laughs> God yeah. rest his soul. He, he we could have had like a like a brain damage person in a coma doing the thing. <laughs> <What>? and, uh, <laughs> no, wow. you know what? You know what? Stephen Hawking would have been more enthusiastic than you. Wow, Rom, I'm I, I'm, get, I'm I'm getting your place now. Wow, <laughs> so this is how it feels. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Oh well. <laughs> so hey, now no, Ron feels sad because <laughs> at least before he was getting paid attention, but now everybody's ignoring him. Oh God, no! Uh, you have your time soon, Ron. But anywho, please do come by, say hello. We want to have fun. Oh, by the way, also Twy, you'll be at Buck too, right? I will be at Buck. Yes, I've also volunteered to help out there as a Ooh. Pinkie Pie pal. Ah, cool. So, what's that all about? Basically, it's for all the shy bronies and anyone who's not used to being in a crowd they've got someone who they can be there with who they know is going to pay attention be <laughs> there for them oh. show them around give them things to do so basically you'll be like captain omar and they'll be your what was it again i, I kind of pikmin. forgot pikmin yeah pikmins something like that <laughs> that or they're all going to be my minions it's one of the two hmm so patapan then all right <laughs> No, I was expecting Twilight to be like Gru from Despicable Me. <laughs> and all the other Pinkie Pies are going to be following him like... <laughs> 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 what 
<laughs> oh my god, someone else that knows what Patapon is. Wow. I know. It's a funny game. But anywho, um, um, good luck, man. I-, I hope to see you there and yeah, probably I'll join the Pinkie Pie or the... You will be. I'll be dragging you along to the pre-meet on the Friday. I'll try and see what I can do. <laughs> Yay, this is going to be fun. Yay. It is. So, anywho, <laughs> let's move on to the next topic and a bit of a format change. We're doing guest time first. So, in today's guest, we have Twy and Lycan. And you are... How do I put this? You help around EFN sometimes? Sometimes. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, what is it that you do? Because I know Twy assists Sketchy with the song cast, but... Lycan, I do remember hearing you say that you help out around the radio shows. Oh, well, um, uh, once or twice, Heatwave, uh, um, they're the one that runs Lunar Republic Takeover. Um, They've been away a couple of times and haven't been able to do their show. So I asked, hey, can I take your spot if you're not able to do it? And they're like, yeah, sure, go for it. And so um, when they've been unable to do it, I've... um, taken over for um, a couple of times and so because of that when I know that I'm about to take over I'll I'll try and get some guests in and do an interview or two and uh, just generally have some fun Hmm. and you invite Twy as your assistant well the first time I did I did it solo Um, and I actually uh, had an interview with Zeta Prime Mm. And so I had that lined up and a couple of fun things to go along with the show. And then the second time, I'm like, okay, so the first time went well. Let's make it a little bit bigger, a little bit better. So that's when I invited Twy to be my co-host and organized to get uh, three interviews for the three-hour show. So we interviewed Snowblitz. We interviewed the one and only James Cork. Uh-huh. And uh, also interviewed... A- uh, one of my friends, Aussie friends, uh, they're a musician. Their name is Oliver Lakota. Hmm. So we had those three interviews on the show, and uh, so it was a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit more organised and planned, thanks to Twy. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so that's that's what I uh, have done a couple of times on the EFN radio. Hmm, that's pretty awesome. So Twy, what have you been doing with Lycan? Like, I know Lycan plans every. Like he says, he's planned everything. What I'm guessing you're the mastermind behind all this. Not really. I just give ideas and things. My main job is through the chat and stuff. When people request things, I'm very good at making lists. It's my thing. <laughs> okay, so you're the guy who's doing the lists, um, moderating the chats and whatnot. So, what else do you do in helping Lycan here? Well, I help out with the interviews keep up to date on the documents, things like that. Hmm. All right, all right. So... Oh, God, I would be lost without Twy because uh, the chat moves very, very fast. So when people give um, the requests in, uh, Twy compiles it into a nice list rather than all the chat in between. And so it helps me out and saves me a lot of time when um, when lining up the songs. Mm, okay, so this is still a radio show, right? So you play music and also do the interview in intervals? How how does the interview work? It normally takes about a week to organise. So um, we write up some questions and uh, pass them on to the people that we're interviewing. Like, hey, these are the kind of questions we're going to ask. Um, if you could write your response, uh, that'd be great. And uh, then we'll find a time when we're all on together, uh, set up a Skype call. Uh, record the Skype call, and um, that's when we do the interview. Ah, oh, so the... You make it sound so simple. Let's ignore the fact all the bloopers we have. Ah, <laughs> oh, so many bloopers. Uh, this is going to be probably... Hey, it only happens on the good shows, man. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be bloopers in this one, too. Just wait till the end. You, you'll listen to bloopers. Already oh. was. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so... The interview are uh, all pre-recorded then. And how long is an interview? Uh, it depends. Um, because the radio show only goes for three hours, we try and keep it relatively short because the main thing that people tune in for is the music. Mm. So people make requests and we play those requests. So I try and keep the interviews to about two minutes or so. Mm. Um, 
there has been one interview that's gone over time, and I just split in half, um, put some music in between that, and so that worked well as well. Oh, so basically, what you do is like um, not not our show. Our show does one hour interviews. So basically, you talk to this person, ask them like five questions, and they answer all five in a short amount of time, and you just stick it there, something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. Um, so when we were interviewing James, I asked him how he got started, what he was up to, and um, yeah, how he got um, into art and things like that. So it was relatively short, um, relatively sweet, but it's nice to get people out there and um, because there has been about 180 listeners at one point on the Lunar Republic takeover, so uh, there's quite a few people out there that are actually listening to these. Oh, that's pretty awesome. 108 people listening to James. <laughs> that's awesome. How many other podcasts or uh, this type of show have you done before? Like, is this what you're used to or do you do, like, longer format? Uh, this is my very first thing that I'd ever done. <laughs> okay, okay. Because I was gonna, I was meaning to ask a follow-up question is that what do you think it's more effective? Um, like, uh, a shorter more direct to the point format like the one you're doing now or something that is uh, that is longer and gives more uh, space uh, uh, for dialogue to to happen well i think it all depends on what the audience wants to hear i mean the reason that shows like qdr crusaders and elements of harmony work is because they're purely dedicated to a specific theme so people that are interested in art can go watch qdr crusaders those who are interested in music can listen to elements of harmony so it all depends on what the audience is interested in because it's a radio show i try and keep them relatively short um just because not everyone will be interested in that particular topic uh so that's why I keep them short, um, just to keep everyone at least listening to the radio show. Oh, okay. That's a good... Very good. That's a good Very tip. Good. That's a good tip. I should pick that up soon. Because, well, um, half an hour show to an hour show, probably people won't listen. Please do um, type in the comment how you like short or long. <laughs> you know, uh, Alfred Hitchcock said once... A movie should be as long as the endurance of the human bladder. Uh, that is, an hour and a half is perhaps the perfect length for a movie. I think a podcast should be between 30 minutes to one hour. Mm-hmm. I agree there too, but sometimes yeah, yeah. when you... Only very boring, very bored people will listen to a two hour and a half long podcast. Well, not really, yeah. because sometimes when... For example, when we had Draft on, he was, well rather entertaining with his uh, conversations he had we asked questions he had really good answers and sometimes they were well long-winded answers it was pretty awesome too so yeah i I think it depends also on the guests but other than that uh, what kind of music do you guys play oh we play all sorts of music because um, it's a request show. I get all sorts of requests. And uh, so Twy takes the songs, writes them up in the list, and then I have to go like, right, that's a rock song. That's a, uh, a EDM song. That's another rock song. So rather than try and sandwich an EDM between two rocks, I'll try and group them up together uh, so it'll have a nice flow. Mm. But... Um, we get all sorts of requests. Some of them are for completely terrible songs, like GAC. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so <laughs> some of them. Some of them are barred from the radio for oh, God. many different reasons. So, Twy, mm-hmm. the system or the format that you're doing for Lycan like here is almost the same that you're doing for Sketchy. It's exactly the same. Ah, exactly the same. So, if something works, why do you fix it? True. True. Exactly. So this is all for pony songs or like all kind of songs? Let's say if I want to say play uh, something from the Rolling Stones, you could do that? I suppose we could do that, but with it being a pony radio, I'm not sure everyone would want to listen to that. Mm. Okay. However, Twilight will only need to have one person to ask for it's the end of the world <laughs> as we know it for him to play it. <laughs> but can you really do and- that? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can actually play other songs from 
uh, and we do do that occasionally. Mm. Uh, most of them are troll songs. Um, so, for <laughs> yeah. example, what does the fox say? Oh, okay. Uh, so, so I'll occasionally chuck that one in, and that gets everyone in the chat riled up. Yes, oh, I can't <laughs> believe you're playing that. Or, uh, it usually ends in hilarity. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm still yet to play Gangnam Style. That is my <laughs> that is on my list of things to play. Dude, you should totally play Gangnam Style. How come you haven't done that yet? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm surprised you uh, guys haven't played that one. <laughs> yeah, I have Gangster played uh, the Rude Sandstorm. That was interesting. <laughs> all right, all right. So besides the music and the interviews, um, what else do you do on the show? In my very first show, I actually thought up an idea. Well, to get the chat interested and to get people that are listening interested, I had developed what's called a theme train. So mm-hmm. basically, I picked two topics which are kind of related and then asked people, okay, uh, I'm going to play three songs on this particular theme. Uh, which Who do you want to win? So, for example, on my first theme train, I asked, okay, what, what do you want to hear, Discord music or Queen Chrysalis music? So I had a little link to a poll. And you could choose one or the other. Believe it or not, it was very close. Crystalis was got nine votes, and Discord got eight votes. Oh, so oh. so no yeah. play Discord. <laughs> so uh, I was like, okay, well, I played three songs of Queen Crystalis, and everyone seemed to enjoy that. Everyone loved it. They're like, oh, this song is fantastic. Oh, I love this song. And so the next time I um, took over the radio, um, this was Twy and I. Um, we came up with the themes of, well, I wanted Twy, and I'm like, well, I'll go with uh, Twy's arch nemesis, Trixie. <laughs> so we put that to a vote. Who I'm proud to this, hear man. songs about Twilight, and who <laughs> wants to hear songs about Trixie? And um, Twilight got 14 votes, and Trixie got <laughs> nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so I played three, Twilight, three. you know they're not talking about you, right? They're talking about the Twilight in the show. I am Twilight from the show. They stole my name. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> so that's a format that works and I quite enjoy that format um, getting people involved that's pretty cool so yeah, it was just a simple poll you could even those who weren't in the chat I put in the stream link so people that were listening to the stream could be like ah oh, there's there's the poll and then click the link go there and vote for whatever they wanted okay. are there any no-nos in the in, in your show like uh, like, oh my god, I'm not gonna play this type of song. Or, yeah, we are not interviewing that guy because <laughs> it, of reasons. There is a few songs that are quite literally bored from every network's radio. Oh. One of them is Ikea Pony. <laughs> okay. Things like that, which people tend to not like. They're not allowed to be yeah. played. And, and the Gak song as well. I the like reason that. they're mostly banned is because. Uh, when they get played, it actually loses um, listeners. Really? No. So, I think it was played for a few weeks, and it got Surprised requested. Them and every time Surprised it was played, they lost about... Yeah. Um, every time it got played, they lost about 20 listeners or so. So, mm. oh. so I was like, oh, well, we're not going to play that anymore. So, this is for the whole of EFN or for just your show? All of EFN. Oh, my. So, what about Poofdorf? That is the worst song ever to be made ever. That is the best is, song ever to be made ever. But it's not. But it's not banned. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that gets requested all the time, and to it's usually Twy's because I'm much to taking part of a show. <laughs> <laughs> and much to Twy's disgust, I actually play it all the time. <laughs> Yay! Wasn't it that song we did the little role play on the show for, where I tried uh... to grab the radio controller from you? Yeah, that was the one. Yeah. <laughs> we had a little role play on the radio, and Twy tried to take the controls, and like, I will play Proof It All. <laughs> so I then played it, and of course, everyone in the chat's like, yay! <laughs> Pink! Rainbow! <laughs> Smiles! Smiles! That's and the I mean, one. And I made smack against the Pinkie Pie. Oh, God. <laughs> so it gets played quite a bit as well, gets requested a lot, and everyone loves that song. Yeah, it's everyone. Everyone. Not everyone. Everyone. Yeah, not everyone. <laughs> <laughs> everyone. Well, it is a good song. So... No, it isn't. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, 
the more you hate it, the stronger it gets. Twilight. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. So, James, any questions for them? I don't think I have anything else left to ask. To be completely honest with you. Okay. I'll. I, I think I have one last one. You say this is a takeover, so you don't have a proper schedule on EFN. Uh, well, Heatwave has that schedule with the uh, Lunar Republic takeover, so it's actually their show. Um, it's just that I had to fill in. Uh, I wanted to fill in a couple of times, and so that's <laughs> when I took over the radio and uh, played a couple of songs. But that doesn't prevent me from other times being like, ah, there's no one around. So <laughs> normally around 3 a.m. Uh, the US time, I'll be like, ah, I'm going to take over for maybe half an hour, an hour, and just play some songs. Are people surprised when you do that? Um, Not really. They kind of know me by now. <laughs> <laughs> so they're not like, oh, what's this? Something new? There has been a couple of instances where a song has been released um, during my takeover, and the latest one was Fuzog's song. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'll play this on the radio. And uh, it just so happened that it'd come out 30 minutes before I went live. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll play this. <laughs> and so I had a couple of requests from the chat. Oh, play Discord. No, play the smile, smile song. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, new song. I'll play this one. Or the time where you accidentally released a song before it was released on YouTube. <laughs> uh now, now, that wasn't my fault. <laughs> no, 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 no. This okay. is this is research journalism. Now you have to tell us more. <laughs> okay. Um, so there was a song which was having its premiere. Uh, it was called Wildfire. Mm, you that may one. have heard of it by uh, Mando Pony. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, so we were meant to be playing it at 7 p.m., eastern time or whatever time it was and uh we'd done a big countdown you know ah new song wildfire playing in an hour ah new song wildfire fire playing in half an hour and uh we even had the intro set and everything so now introducing wildfire and then i played the song and then uh went back to the takeover playing people's requests and um the person that had actually organized for me to play the song on the radio was like uh, sorry, I gave you the wrong time. It was actually meant to be 8 p.m., not 7 p.m. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, great. So I just played the song an hour before its big, massive release. I'm like, oh, well, So it got cool. released twice. Okay, yeah, Take it actually black. got released twice. They actually got released twice. They're like, uh, you'll have to play the song at 8 p.m. as well. And I'm like, oh, I can do that. <laughs> so, again, I used the same audio track. It's like, half an hour, wildfire. <laughs> <laughs> and then right, Norman, right are at you okay? PM, like, you're, you're losing it over there. Dude. No, it's just scheduling uh, blunders. I, I do understand scheduling blunders, but this, hmm... <laughs> And see, it wasn't actually my fault. The person that had gave me yeah, yeah, the yeah. song told me what time to play it. I'm like, I'll play it at that time. And I did play oh. it at that time. They're like, oh, sorry, I messed up. You played an hour early. But you're going to have to play it again about... anyway. So I'm like, I can do that. You want to talk about scheduling blenders. That's nothing compared to what happened a few years ago with Mass Effect 3. Oh, God. What happened? The, 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 game, the game got released like a month before in Canada or something like oh, that. Oh, God. Really now? Yeah. Oh, t- talking about um, scheduling blunders, anybody remember the Xbox One release? Because if I remember right, uh, there was, a, uh, I think, a month release or week release. Um, I think the shop GameStop or whatever, they derp and send out the Xbox Ones to people super early. And the people who played the console were excited about it and they kind of got banned. Well, to be honest, Xbox One in general was a massive blunder. Oh, true, true that. <laughs> Everything surrounding that console is a, it's, it's just a... Um, shut up. Yeah. Shut up, James. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But still, but still. Um, well, I think those are my questions. Um, James, you said you got nothing. Rom, you got anything no. for them? No. Okay, well, um, thank you for coming on, guys, and sharing your stories. This was pretty entertaining. Inside stories about how things work behind your friend. <laughs> oh, the the hardest problem for me was getting my um, music database up to scratch. 
because everyone requests new songs and songs that have only been out for about a week or a month or so, and I may not have it in my database. So it's a it's a massive task to then uh, try and find that song to source it and then to queue it up. Um, that's probably the hardest part for me. Um, that and also finding out which song that people want played. So when they say Discord, they might ask for a specific mix or a specific acoustic version or some cover or something like that. So you've actually got to then try and find that cover or find the, that remix wow. of a remix of that mixed song. And it's like, wow, so hard to find the exact one. And then you play it and they're like, this isn't the one. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I'm sorry. We um, disappointed you. Bring Please up the forgive toilet. us. <laughs> Bring it up the uh, toilet. Uh, well, but anywho, gents, thank you for sharing the stories. And let's move on to the next topic. News time. Rom, it's your time. I am Romuald of the MBSU News, and in today's news time, Hub Network's MLP Mega Marathon was a big success. I saw what they did there. <clears throat> a while back, the Hub Network announced that they will be marathoning all 91 episodes of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic series, even naming the event My Little Pony Mega Marathon. <laughs> The event started on August 4th and ended on August 8th. Now that the ratings are in, it seems that the event drew in 4.3 million viewers. Links can be found in the show notes below. I am Romuald of the AMBS Show News. Back to you, Norman. Thank you. So, wow, 4.3 million. Wow. It's like ponies are liked by people or something. Yeah. Mare. So weird. Oh, fun. <laughs> No, seriously, Romo. R- seriously, you say that again. I'm going to get you in the cellar. <laughs> I know, right? Oh yeah. my god! I can't believe they went there. It's a good plan. Yeah, they did. They did go there. It's hey, well, plan. we ha- we have nothing. We 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 have nothing to say. We are worse. <laughs> True. So that absolutely astounds me, because that is about one seventh of the entire population of Australia. <laughs> Just to put out numbers and stuff there. Dude, one seventh of that. You know what? That is basically the entire population of my of the city that I grew up in. Wow. Yeah. Like no, Surprise. no, 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 no. You know what? I'm going to put better better perspective than that. That is eight times. No, no. Actually, oh my God, more than that. Sixteen times the population of my city where I live now. Wow. But, yeah, my city um, is like a quarter of a million uh, inhabitants. <laughs> that is that is 16 times the amount of people that live in my city. Surprise! That's more than my entire country. <laughs> but still, wow! Uh, I mean, this was a huge success. Like 91 yeah. episodes. And here's the thing: um, it's not only 91 episodes. They included Equestria Girls and uh, other three movies. Yeah, because they, uh, they 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 did premiere what was it the the G three um, most of the G three uh, G three movies Christmas and all that mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm. right yep yep yeah and wow it was pretty good it's pretty good because uh, according to the data that I don't know how to read is that uh, kids among two and eleven were plus one hundred and thirty four percent girls two and eleven uh, plus one hundred seventy nine percent kids six and eleven um, you you get the general idea. There's a lot of people who watch this, and it looks like girls six to eleven uh, plus six uh, two to sixteen percent, and adult women. I mean, there is a high percentage if you think about it. And this was going for what all week, twenty four yeah, hours, like four to five days. It lasted four to five days. They did marathon then. That it was a literal marathon. Yeah, man. Wow. I mean. Either you sit down and watch the whole thing or you pick your favorites because, wow, all 91 episodes, not including the movies. Oof, that's a good way to catch up. <laughs> it is it is, it is nuts. But I think with this, the Hub wanted to check. I'm pretty sure both the Hub and Hasbro, they wanted to see how popular Pony still is. And I think that it's pretty much proven that Pony still has a lot of... Uh, uh, it has a lot of audience. I mean... It's one of the original shows that the Hub started with. In fact, it's the only one left out of the original Rooster. Like, it started with Dan Versus, it started with Strawberry Shortcake, mm-hmm. Transformers Prime, uh, uh, My Little Pony and Pound Puppies. And this is the one and only show that still uh, has new episodes being produced. I, I think Pound Puppies still on, but I'm not 100% if they're new or not. 
No, that's that's the thing. I mean, new episodes being produced, yeah. not reruns. So, I'm pretty sure that Hasbro wanted to see. Okay, okay, fine. We have the crazy brownies, all that. But what about the other demographics? It is proven that the, all the all the all the demographics want to watch this show, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. both kids and adults. Mm, true. Um, I'm gonna shift the question to some others. So, Twy, what do you think about this? I think it proves how much better Pony is than everything else. True, it has a lot of pull and attraction, but I, I think other shows are good too, like uh, Legend of Korra, Adventure Time. No, no, it hasn't got ponies in it. <laughs> well, you have to think about it for a moment, Norman. Four point three million on a network that is not uh, that is not even a decade old. Legend of Korra is in Cartoon Network. True, true. That has a lot of audience. That is that that has a big amount of audience. But for a young network, this is this is unbelievable. Hmm. Okay. And like then, what do you think? It amazes me that they don't show it on Australian TV. Really? No. You can't have it. Uh, it was on. Well, they were airing season two. The only problem was it was eight thirty in the morning when everyone was going to school, so no one actually Ooh. watched it then. What day was yeah. it? Yeah. Like. Feel for yeah. Eight thirty morning uh, on what? Sunday? On weekdays, weekdays? So Monday to Friday. Yep. Who are they aiming for? I have um, no idea. No, I, I can tell you they're aiming for the kids that watch the TV before they go to school. So they watch Friendship is Magic and then but school, after school starts at what seven a.m. No, it's eight a.m. Uh, what? No, most people have left for school by about eight o'clock, eight thirty. So there was no one around to watch it. They have to take the Kangaroo Express to go to school. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, most schools start at nine o'clock, so the the students have to be there before then. Oh yeah, I mean there's a lot of setup time, so yeah. Oh yeah. my, like so they're yeah, I completely, it. I completely feel for you, uh, the Lycan, because that <coughs> that sounds similar to what we used to have here in Spain. Wow, well, mm. I, I remember um, school starts at eight for me, and wow, do I need to get up early just to get there? 8.30 for me, I had to wake up at 6 to get there. <laughs> the shows aren't even played on public television in the UK. It's on a separate channel you have to pay extra for. Wow, really? It's stupid no. times at night. I mean, um, what kind of shows are we talking about again, Twy? Pony. Oh. Stuff like that. Wow. Really? No. Okay, at night I could understand because there's a lot of people watching it, but uh, the payment yeah. stuff, that's another story. But that's yeah. how Hasbro makes their money, and that's how other company makes their money, so I can blame them. Yeah, I'll stick to YouTube. <laughs> uh, no comment there. <laughs> <laughs> and Rom, what about you? No, no surprise, no surprise. Actually, I'm surprised it's only 4.3. 4. I expected a higher number, to be honest. A million is not a higher number. <laughs> <laughs> of course not, man. Uh, okay, okay. Remember that movie of Austin Powers? Two million is just not the amount anymore. Then <laughs> okay. we'll take over the world, and as ransom for one billion dollars, <laughs> or something like that. I don't remember. I don't need to rewatch that movie. Oh, it's, a, it's an awesome quote there. But still, man, like for ninety-one episodes of ponies shown on air for, I, I'm, I'm not hundred percent sure if this is played throughout the whole network for twenty-four hours. But if it is, it's stupid awesome. Now they have to do that in other countries. True that. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Four days, right? Just to finish the whole season? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Woo! You know, it's kind of funny. When did uh, when did Three's a Crowd uh, got premiered? Three's like in a Crowd. Three's a Crowd. Yeah, the episode where this, with this court and Princess Cadence. Mm, wow, that, that's been a while. Let, let me double check it, man. Because yeah, but it was it was 2014, right? It was this year. Yeah, I think so. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was premiere this year. We had the episode in Spain already. Wow, really now? That done, that done everything. So something tells me that they are spreading to other countries faster than before, because I I remember we took like an entire two years to get uh, the premiere of season season two. In, in my country, like they didn't air that one until 2013. Hmm. Wow. So something tells me that Hasbro is moving faster to reach uh, to to reach other countries with Pony. Well, it's one of um, Hasbro's top property out there that's making a 
pen over fist It is his money. top property. It's keeping it afloat. It is the the top. Yeah, yeah. it has always been. It has always been among the best selling ones. Not so much until Friendship is Magic came out. But now Friendship is Magic is keeping the boat afloat. <laughs> like just the amount of money that uh, is making. Uh, Even with Transformers and everything, the amount of money that Pony is making. Well, yeah, I don't think that. Ponies uh, is keeping the boat afloat. I think. I think so. No, no, no. Here's, here's the are, thing. They are. I, I think ponies are giving them an overhaul, making it the Titanic. <laughs> no, no, Norman. The ponies aren't keeping the boat afloat. The sea ponies are. <laughs> Should we do? Should we do? <laughs> but still, Should James, I, I do agree with you that um, ponies overall, it's a hot seller for Hasbro. It's uh, one of the top brands. All the other brands that Hasbro has. Yeah, yeah, that's that, they're selling good. I mean, uh, Transformers is selling good. Uh, GI Joe is selling good for what uh, I saw. Pff, no, the, no, GI Joe. No, they are selling. They're selling fine. Yeah, they're selling fine. They have always been selling fine compared to how they were selling in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, a pound pop. No, no, a little pet shop. Little pet shop is selling really well to the point that they are also uh, selling comic books. Mm-hmm. Uh, done by IDW as well, so... That's probably because of Pony Voices, though. Probably. Pony Voices and Pony Writers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't forget that M.A. Larson writes for the show as well. <laughs> oh, God, which one of them are getting wings? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that Zoe is going to get a couple of wings. She's oh. going to become a winged dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But Princess Big Mac is best pony. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, 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 the next one has to be Princess Sunil. <laughs> Princess Sunil. Princess <laughs> have you seen Have you seen Little Sped Shop? I've seen it. I, I, I uh, highly enjoyed it. Have you seen the epi- any episode with Sunil in it? <laughs> yes, I've seen it. Peter New is a freaking hilarious as Sunil. Oh my god, that is that's the best character of the entire show. I, I kind of like Zoe. Um, that's um... so is cool. So is cool, but Sunil is is outrageously funny. True. True. But, yeah, I mean, well, we're going to a pet shop talk right now. But still... It's like a <laughs> meerkat version of Apu. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, but still, um, back to uh, the st- statistics here. Um, Ponies is doing well. And from my side of the pond, I'm seeing that only Transformers and Ponies are doing really well for Hasbro. Pet shop is there, struggling. G.I. Joe is gone. I guess not even Bruce Willis could save the boat. Ah, I got no idea on that one. You didn't watch the sec- the sequel? Oh, I've seen it. It's pretty good. I mean, I like really? it. Really? Mm. I mean, for what it is, it's entertaining. It's like the new Ninja Turtles movie. It's not done by Michael Bay, but his presence is there. So but there isn't even a credit for Michael Bay in the in the GI Joe there... movies. I Actually, no if anyone if anyone needs to blame for the G.I. Joe movies, that's the guy who did The Mummy, uh, Stephen Sommers. It's not that bad. Wait, the first one or the second one? The, st- the first one, the second one, they were made by the same guy who also directed uh, Van Helsing. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, to me, it was rather entertaining. It's, was it good? Debatable. But it was entertaining, to say the least. Mm. But anywho, um, we're off topic right now so <laughs> that's the news for this week so anywho let's move on to the next topic and the next topic is shout outs my shout out goes to you Twilight and thank you for coming on and sharing your stories with us yeah thanks for having me on the show no problem I, I hope you were entertained by our quick banter and whatnot. and eh, James is alright not sure about you <laughs> Uh, he loves me more than he loves you. Nee, 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 nee. Why don't you get a bit then? Nee. Oh, Fuck. I will. Uh, so, and you, um, my second shout out goes to you, James and Rom. Thank you for coming on on such short notice. The shortest notice I've ever had in my entire life. Indeed. It's okay. Can I go back to my coma now? I feel horrible. No, we got other things to do. So. And- ah! Ah, get me out of here! <laughs> ah. well, before we do, James, shout outs. Shout outs. I want to give a shout out to my doctor who put me on these meds. That, ooh, loopy. Uh Okay, no, sorry. Um, a big shout out. Big, first of all, shout out to Twilight for being such a good sport and putting up with our stupidity and a lack of professionalism. Miss Harshwini will not be happy with us. <laughs> uh, I give a big shout out to Lycan for uh, putting up with my. Uh, uh, 
medical fears. Oh my god, this hurts. It's nothing, you hypochondriac jerk. Stop complaining. Okay, I'm sorry. You're Spanish. Yeah, I am. Uh, <laughs> that's more Twilight. And I uh, give a shout out to Ron for not putting us to sleep with his voice. because that's I was busy nice. drawing not safe for work stuff, oh, so god. you have no time for fanfics. Ooh, post it when we're done with the show. Oh, you guys god. cannot see it. Uh, and a uh, shout out for Norman for not fighting me yet. Um, yeah. yeah. No problem. And a big shout out to my future self. You, 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 you idiot. I hope you're feeling better, or else I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> wow, future James is not responding well then. I think future James is crapping his pants now. <laughs> uh, oh, God, I, not, I don't feel well. I have to feel better. Okay, and Rom, about you? Hi, Mom. <laughs> I should have known. Say that in Button's, play, the button's voice. Hi, Mom! <laughs> okay. Hi, Mom! Okay, the Markiplier. <laughs> I am not Markiplier. <laughs> okay. For the last frickin' time, man. <laughs> anyway. You sound like Markiplier. You're right. No, I don't. He does. He does. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, I fucking... No, I bloody Norman, don't. Norman, what, what did you do? What did you do, Norman? You have ruined Rome forever. <laughs> Probably. But what do you mean, ruined forever? I had that, like, bef- like before I even met Norman. <laughs> but anywho, Twilight, what about you? Shout-outs? Uh, shout-outs to the host of the show. Oh. Thanks for having us. No problem. Anyone from regulars, you know who you are. <laughs> and a shout out to me for being awesome. <laughs> All right, that's the first. Uh, like it? Uh, shout out for you guys for just being great and having me on here. Oh no problem, man. It was fun having you on. So, anywho, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbshowgmail.com. If you'd like to email us personally, links are in the show notes. You can also. I have a suggestion. Yes. Needs more trout. I'll, I'll <laughs> look into that. I'll look into that. <laughs> and also, you can also reach us on Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, sweetie. But we'll probably edit the show and complain about how long it is. And we're talking about other movies, not Pony and not her. Oh, boy. Anywho, you can also reach me. I'm at Norman Sanzo. I'll tweet about my trip to Buck. Yay. And James, what about you? Well, you can find me in the hospital because I don't think I'm going to be able to reach back at this point. So, yes, you will. Shut up. Uh, I am dying. I'm going to have to go there in spirit. <laughs> uh, you can find me on Twitter, although nobody follows me because you're all jerks who don't love me and you don't want to follow me. <laughs> Proof him wrong, you audience. Hate you hate me. You hate me. Uh, you can find me on James Lower Dash. Cork on Twitter. You can find my DeviantArt on jamescork.deviantart.com And you can find my Ask Movie Tumblr my funny Tumblr on askmovieslate.tumblr.com Oh, James. I, right the corner. I just remember something. Uh, Dan said what? he likes your artwork. Well, that, that, that's nice. That's good. Uh, <laughs> anywho, Rom? <laughs> I think my Picardo oh, crashed. Oh, God. <laughs> I can find me at Robish. Yeah, you can find me at <clears throat> You can find me at Twitter Son of a gun You can find me at Rolicious.dvnr.com Alright uh, And you guys, where can they find you? Uh, sorry, I was trying not to laugh <laughs> um, You can find me on every free network's IOC chat ah. Best really so that's Twilight underscore Sparkle NLR? Yep. Okay. And Lycan? Uh, you can find me on the same place, but you can also find me on Twitter. Very Lycan. You can also find him under your bed. <laughs> I'm liking it. <laughs> you liking this? <laughs> I'm liking it, yeah. Uh, and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can, catch, you can also catch us on PonyvilleLife.com. Links will be provided in show notes. So I have been Norman Sanzo. I have I been Romeo. safe the entire time. Shut up, Romu. Nobody cares about you. They all come here for me. Pay attention to me. <laughs> I am Romeo. <laughs> I'm Lord Trout. And I'm Lycan. And we'll see you. Wow. We'll see you at Buck. Come and meet us, guys. Seriously. Come and meet us and join in this insanity that we're having right now. We can all take turns and slap in Norman with a trout. No! No! Anywho, bye bye guys.
Bye bye. Nurse, I need another cleanup. Oh, fuck you. Please do come by, say hello, we want to have fun. Oh, by the way, also, Twy, you'll be at Buck too, right? I will be at Buck, yes. I've also volunteered to Alp out there as a Ooh. Pinkie Pie pal. Oh, what's that? Like, I heard about this, but I'm not 100% sure. Mind explaining it to us? <laughs> oh, no, no, let's stop looking at the script. <laughs> There's no script! <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh my god, Twilight, that is surprising yeah. and unexpected! <laughs> Tell me more! <laughs> <laughs> Norman, you read, you're saying things like it's a script. You, you need to sound more natural. Uh, well, there's no script in front of me. It's, all, it's not. It's not even. It's not even midnight for you, and I am killing over in pain because all of my upper part of the body hurts like a. That's not a word. And I sound more lively than you. What is wrong with you, man? We, I got no we idea. Old, we know you're old and everything, but it's like. Did you forget to take your pills? Probably. That's you right. Have, right. <laughs> you didn't have your eardrops. Mm-hmm. Is this being recorded right now? Yep. <laughs> Is this bit going to be edited out? Yes. Okay. No, oh, yeah, pretend, definitely. Norman, pretend someone's giving you a... That's not a word. What was you reading? 
<laughs> you know that Romwell is is streaming as well, right? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> and that it's Skype okay. avatar is just suitable for this situation too. <laughs> and nobody's watching him. Nobody cares for Romo. Anyway. Oh, no. Now let's start. Try, try uh, we again. love you, Romo. <clears throat> let's, let's do it again. <clears throat> okay. Three, two, one. Pins and even Commission James uh, Yukis Ultra Quick Ink Sketch. Hope to see you there soon. Yeah, so, Norman, yo. Could, could you do that bit again without all the mistakes and actually have some enthusiasm about what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you, you the sounded reading to me, very... Boss. You sounded very... Actually, you know what, Norman? Let me read it. Okay. <laughs> what, is the, what are the show notes? It's in the link. Oh, okay. Let me open them. <laughs> you're an elephant, James. Shut up. What are you saying that I'm an elephant? That's what your icon says here when somebody comes in. Anonymous elephant. Oh, p- piss off. I'm not an elephant. <laughs> I'm a narwhal. Oh, I am really? majestic. Anyway, uh, should I go? Okay. okay. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs>